Welcome back to Riveted Day. Gino Ames here, live from Tenants Harbor, Maine. Hope all is well with you. And uh, today we have our 1991 Epiphone Coronet in hand. I get asked a lot of questions about this guitar whenever I post pictures of it or anything. Uh, but my wife and daughter bought this for me in 1990, Christmas 97. Um, I started hanging at Daddy's Junkie Music and just fell in love with it. It's gone through a lot of changes since I had it. Um, you know, obviously pickups got swapped. Um, I added it up on a piece of paper. I can think of 22 different bridge pickups I've had in this guitar. 22. Sorry, it's just the way I roll. Um, some other changes. Uh, put Grover locking tuners on there. Um, made this truss rod cover. At one point I had a locking nut on there with the Kaler. Um, I'll get to the Kaler in a second, um, but decided to go locking tuners and graphite nut instead. Um, and this was the trim cover on a Stratocaster. I cut it out, sanded it, put an E on there, not for Epiphone. Wise people know what the E's for. Um, had this custom pick guard made for it from Florida's own WD Music. Got a dime bucker in here currently. Great pickup, great. Um, body's maple, mech, neck, the, the mech, neck is maple with a rosewood fingerboard. Um, got the Kaler on there. Uh, used to have a stop tailpiece like a Gibson Les Paul. I decided I wanted a trem on it. And I was flipping through Guitar World magazine and I saw a picture of Jerry Cantrell for Kaler. And it said, win a Kaler, join our mailing list. And I must have been the, I was, I kid you not, this was on like a Tuesday. And I was like, oh, I'll do that. So sent, join their mailing list. Thursday, they contacted me and said, you're this month's winner. So I was probably the only fucking person who signed up that month, but who cared? Got a Kaler on there, routed it out, and she's great. You can do all kinds of, you know? A lot of people like the Floyd. I, I like Floyd's too. This Kaler, you know, it's designed to, to mount on top of there, you know, it is routed underneath and stuff, but I'm crafty like that, so I just did it myself. Um, it's a great, great trim though. Very fluid. One great thing about it is you can rest your hand on it. Nothing happened. You know, Floyd, sometimes they will fluctuate and stuff like that. And you can pull that sucker up. I could keep going. I get 10 through 60 gauge strings on here because I like this guitar and drop D. Have a good day.